Hi everyone, this is Tom from Inside the Factory, and I'm doing a video that's a follow-up to one that I did in February about the Revit DB or database link. And um, in that video, I showed a, a few things you could do to create a bi-directional database link um, with Revit that um, can not only update the database but also um, make changes to the database and then update the Revit model in the other direction. Um, today. I'm going to um, do a quick demo from a user uh, request that I got, which is um, they were saying they would like to be able to have the value in one schedule reference uh, the value in another as to create a calculated value between the two. Um, so that's true. It's something you can't do within Revit, but it is something that's doable with uh, DB link. So I have a um, pretty standard office project here, and there's been a rentable area plan has been created. And I have rooms here that um, each one has uh, a name as well as a department assigned. So obviously I can create schedules, uh, an area plan schedule and a room schedule for these, but I can't, if I wanted to do some kind of calculation with a total from one to the other, I wouldn't be able to do that. So. This is where uh, Revit DB link comes in. I'm not going to actually go through the, the export, but because uh, it can tend to take a while. But you know, I, I, I launch it from the add-ins uh, external tools menu, export to database. Now I'm going to switch over to access, and um, here I have this uh, view filtered. I mean, the, the database looks like this. You know, it has every single um, category and um, and each type as as a separate table. But I'm going to show two queries that I set up. And think of each query essentially as a um, schedule that you have in Revit. And so the first one is I just do, I want to calculate the total rentable area. And so if I go to my query design, query design view, I have basically said, OK, give me from the areas, give me um, each area name each area type and the sum of each area. Now, the trick here is in the uh, um, access you want to make sure that you have totals enabled here and that gives you this this totals row. And also you can put in a criteria so for criteria name I wanted to make sure it was only the rentable ones not the gross ones. And a little trick here too is on the, the database link each um, area has an ID um, if you want to be able to query something by its name, you need to bring in um, the scheme uh, table, make a relationship between the IDs, and then you can actually query by name instead of by the you know random ID that is given to each area. Okay, so now since I've got this set up as a sum query, when I run it, I'm only going to get basically the sum of all rentable areas that are signed in this building. Okay, now I set up a separate query. Let's look at the design of this real quick. But basically, what this is is I've wanted to take, I wanted to create a query or schedule of the um, for each of the collaboration departments, basically the, the conference rooms, what percentage of the rentable are they using? Okay, so to do that, what I did is I have um, all the room uh, table. I've done that same thing I did with area schemes. I have a levels table in here so that I can query levels by name instead of by ID. And I also have this rentable area query referencing uh, the one that I just created. So I want the name of each room. I want the department uh, filtered down by criteria. And then this is the, this is the part um, that actually makes the calculation based on the other schedule. So what I do is I you can you know, break this down by parts. So I, I, you can create this field and call it anything you want. I call it the percent of rentable. I'm going to, uh, I'll come back to what rounding, how that works, but basically what I'm going to say is I'm going to take rooms, which is the table, dot area, which is the field, divide by rentable area, which is the query, dot sum of area, which is the total that you saw before. So I'm going to basically divide each room's area by its rentable, the rentable area total multiply that by 100 to get a percentage, and then I'm also I'm rounding um, round um, by two, which gives me only two decimal points. By default, this field is set up to you know put out like five or six decimal points, which is way too much. 
Um, that's pretty much it. And so now if I run this, you, you saw this before, um, this, is the, this is the query. Now, two big downsides here. One, uh, obviously, uh, I, I can't include this in a sheet in my Revit project. Um, I could, you know, if I really wanted to, I could bring it in, I guess, as some kind of bitmap. Um, also, uh, this query uh, interface, while it's pretty intuitive, and it's a lot more intuitive than uh, some kind of API um, software program, um, it actually has a bit of a learning curve, and, and um, it takes a bit of, of getting used to. So uh, I'd be curious to hear um, people's reactions and if they think if they're using something like this or if they have other uses. Obviously, this is a very simple example. I'd love to hear um, some more in-depth examples that people think maybe they could, they could do with this tool. All right, that's it for now. Thanks.